Good day everyone, I am Marcel Santos from BSN1B and for today's video, I will demonstrate the assessment for the blood pressure together with my patient. First, we have to assess the patient. You have to consider the signs and symptoms of hypertension, hypotension, and also the factors affecting the blood temperature. But before doing that, I'll have to introduce my name, speak with the client of what am I going to do, why it is necessary and how the client can cooperate. So hi ma'am, I am Marcel Santos. I am your student nurse for today and I will I am here to do the um, assessment for your blood pressure. Um, I just need to check if there's any problem. So if there is, we can prevent it as much as possible. I'll have to ask few questions and you just need to answer it honestly. Is that a great deal ma'am? Thank you very much. Now, to verify the client's identity, you can look for the arm bud and then confirm the name and age of the patient. Mom, can I see your arm bud, please? Okay, so your name is? Rosalinda Santos. Alright, and 74? Yeah. Thank you very much. Mom, can I ask you a question po? Mm -hmm. Um, sumasakit po ba yung ulo niyo? That's why. Um, how about nosebleed? Okay. Um, stress po ba kayo lately? Lately. Um, medication po. Like, take po ba kayo ng mga medication? Yes. Okay po. Thank you very much. Next, let's proceed with the equipment. For assembling the equipment, I have here the stethoscope, the blood pressure cuff, sphygmomanometer, and also the two containers containing the wet and dry cotton balls. Next, we have to do a hand hygiene before performing any procedure. And to provide for the client's privacy, you can close the curtains, windows, and also um, <clears throat> um, if the client has the, has the opposite sex as yours, you can ask someone with the same sex as your client to stay inside the room while you're doing the assessment so the client would feel comfortable. Also, for changing the gowns, um, you can ask the client if they want you to stay, they want you to leave, or they want you to help them. Next, we have to place the client for an appropriate position, sitting position, and the feet flat on the ground. Also, the elbow slightly flex and the palm facing up okay next one we have to um, place the deflated cuff and then we will locate and then we will locate the brachial artery we will apply the center of the bladder directly over the artery so for the adult we have to place this um, 2.5 centimeter or 1 inch 1 inch above the antecubital space so this is the antecubital space this one so above dito dapat yung cuff okay flex ma'am slightly flex If this is a client initial examination, you have to perform the preliminary palpatory. We have to palpate the brachial pulse with fingertips. Okay. Then we have to close the valve by turning it clockwise. So, but counterclockwise, it is released. So, clockwise to close. Now, we will pump the cuff until we no longer feel the brachial pulse at that pressure the blood cannot flow through artery okay Oh, 
130. The normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. So I got um, 30, 130. That means it's above the normal range. For the systole, you have to record the first beat that you will hear later. And also the diastole, um, the last, the last beat. You can hear it um, using the stethoscope. After I got the, um, the systole, which is 130, I released it completely, the valve counterclockwise. The next, we have to position the stethoscope and clean the ear pieces. Okay, I'll use the wet, yeah, wet cotton balls to clean it. Also the diaphragm. Then let's insert the attachments. It's card. We have to ensure that the stethoscope hangs freely from the ears to the diaphragm. Then we have to place it. Oh, also, we have to make sure that it is open. Then we will place it through the client's brachial pulse using a thumb and the index finger. Okay, so now we're ready to auscultate the patient. We have to pump it and add 30 for 130 that I got, which is 160. Okay, I'll stop there. Then release it little by little. Then release it completely when you're done taking the diastole of the patient. So I got 130 over 80, which means that um, the systole is a little high. So according to my patient, she she's done taking her medication for this morning. Okay. Removing this, we have to. We have to also clean the ear pieces. And as a nurse, you have to document the client's finding on the client's data. This is my patient, Miss Rosalinda Santos. Thank you very much. And I am Marcel Santos. Thank you for watching.